Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Mandarpan. This is season two, episode eight, and we are very happy to have you all all today as we bring about a topic which is simple yet very significant. Our topic today is inclusion, working today for a better tomorrow. But before that, let's talk a little bit about this month's different programs, which we are very happy to do because we are taking the mindset of mindset. Well, uh, going through with our slides, these are our three speakers and we will be talking to them shortly. Interesting people who will give us uh, insight into an interesting topic. We have school mental health. That was the theme this month and lots of seminars and workshops that were conducted. Schools may bacho ke liye, teachers ke saath, uh, bacho ke maabap ke saath, mansik swas kitna zaruri hai aur basic simple tipnia jo hum unke saath share karte hai. This is what we do from different schools around and we are happy to be doing this. Well, we were also happy to have impact our annual mental health meet for principals, vice principals, and coordinators. And in fact, one of our guests this evening, Neha Trivedi, was the main speaker for that afternoon while we talked again about inclusions at the level of advocacy, schools ke baare mein, principals ke liye kitna zaruri hai, in sab cheezo ka jankar ho kar, dusro tak isko ye, ye jo uh, important information hai, wo baki students, parents, or teachers tak felana zaruri hota hai. It was an engrossing afternoon with case discussion, lots of questions, and of course, answers from the experts. Bombay Psychiatric Society also had an uh, interesting event, and we were happy to bring forth the BPS buzz that is there. Being the editor, I have a wonderful team with me, and we look a doctor ke alag alag pehlu jo hota hai. Holistic dimensions of development for a doctor. Is ke upar hum log prakash dalte hai. Buzz stands for Banao Unlimited Zestful Zindagi. Aur humara ek chota sa poem hai Beyond Diwali. Usko zarur suniye. It is on our YouTube channel Wellsprings Counseling and on the reels on our Instagram as well. Being the president of the St. Luke's Catholic Medical Guild. I was happy to host the 82nd AGM and our annual get together. Both sare doctors and families or stress busting jo bahut zaruri hai doctors ke liye is topic ke upar hum sab ne milke uh, iski ahemiyat ko aage badaya. It's a good evening for doctors to come together and feel the fellowship factor which is very very important. I had the opportunity of being the keynote speaker for the Rotary Club of Kalyan Riverside. और यहाँ पे हमने जिंदगी के बारे में लव यू जिंदगी इसके ऊपर हम मानसिक स्वास्थ्य के बारे में छोटे छोटे टिप्पणियाँ को आगे बढ़ाते हुए लोगों को इन्वॉल्व भी किया विद लॉट्स ऑफ एक्टिविटी इट वाज वेल अप्रिशिएटेड बट बेसिकली द टेक होम मैसेज वाज टू एन्जॉय लाइफ बट स्ट्राइक अ बैलेंस और मानसिक स्वास्थ्य को जरूर उसका दर्जा दीजिए सो नो शेम नो स्टिग्मा but take care of your mental health. And I had the good fortune of visiting Pune, attending the military psychiatry conference. Bohut sare logo ke saath mulakat hua and learn new insights into military psychiatry and resilience. Wonderful people that I met. And as always, we feel proud of people who take care of our country, whether it's the armed forces, the naval base or the air forces. These are people who are doing medicine and psychiatry and the uh, work of defense for the country together. So we are very proud of them. Unse mulakat karke, I think I was refreshed and uh, lots of things renewed once again. So it has been an exciting month, lots of events and Wellsprings Mansik Swasko Age Badate Hue. Ab, we are here for season two, episode eight of Mandarpan. And like I promised you, three interesting people for a topic that is even more interesting. Let's meet them. Well, we have with us this evening, we have Dr. Jay Shastri, psychiatrist based at Andheri. He's our guest today. Welcome, Dr. Jay. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Fabian, for having me. Good evening to everybody. Namaste. Yes, we have Neha Trivedi. 
a person working relentlessly for many years in the field of inclusion and today she will share her thoughts with us welcome neha thank you good evening thank you for having us and i look forward to an enriching evening with all of you sure and the young bright and beautiful twinkle gogri twinkle a student who will share with us everything she can about her journey with muscular dystrophy and the triumphs that she has in her life as well thank you twinkle for being here with us today thank you doctor for having me here yes so shuru karte hain guftgu pehle apne guest ke sath dr jay shastri and like i said dr jay shastri has been working hard with the field of psychiatry spreading awareness lots of events uh, and i have had the good fortune of working with you on so many platforms bahut acha lagta hai jab log itna zinda dili se kaam karte hain and don't miss his smile it's very infectious and he's been doing all of this for more than 23 years andheri west is where he practices but he does good work all over welcome again dr jay shastri may thank you thank you yeah yes you are the famous son of an illustrious father the late dr p c shastri much respect to him to ye sab vatavaran hote hue did psychiatry as a choice happen naturally to you uh well uh i i uh, i get this question very often and uh, especially having a such a famous and a illustrious uh, father uh, it's always my proud uh, pleasure to uh, be in this particular surrounding बट टू टेल यू फ्रेंकली आई थिंक बचपन में जब uh, मुझे जहाँ तक याद है वी वर वी वर नॉट एक्सपोज टू द काइंड ऑफ मेडिकल एक्टिविटीज और डिफरेंट थिंग्स अदर देन जो कॉन्फ्रेंसेज हमारे होते थे वहाँ पे हम जाते थे और वहाँ पे इन्वॉल्व होते थे तो मुझे इतना तो था कि डॉक्टर बनना है फॉर श्योर बट आई हैड फ्यू एट्रीब्यूट्स विच आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट uh to be a, a psychiatrist which is uh, you you have to be a very good listener you have to have uh, a lot of patience and you have to uh try to deal with uh, negativity in in a very in a robust and a strong way so possibly that's where dad had a very strong role to play so dad had all those uh, characteristics and i i have i've just got from him and uh of course we we had a setup which was almost uh, 30 35 year old established and there is so that's why if you can say psychiatry become a very natural choice but then at the same time i was blessed uh, by almighty to have those uh, qualities and characteristics to uh, take the uh, baton further from what uh, dad had already achieved all throughout his life right so we see a healthy mix of uh, nature and nurture right mm-hmm. environment and genetics and of course your own hard work and determination with sincerity of effort jo aapko is mukam tak leke aaye hai and since we are talking about inclusion dr jay when did this aspect of mental health appeal to you and why yeah, so i think uh, i'll i'll just uh, talk about my association with uh, a wonderful institute called jay vakil foundation now almost uh, 78 year old and uh, i it, it started with uh, a single garage where uh, a wonderful lady called uh, uh, mrs vakil jay vakil on whose name we have had this institute unhone apne bachcho ke liye ye institute shuru kiya tha wahan pe do teen bachche aur aaye aur abhi ye itna बड़ा इंस्टीट्यूट है जहाँ पे हम मोर देन थाउजेंड बच्चों को रेगुलरली कैटर करते हैं और ये सेवेंटी एट ईयर्स में हमने कितने सारे बच्चों को कितनी सारी फैमिलीज को हेल्प किया है और वहाँ से मुझे ये जो इंक्लूजन का कॉन्सेप्ट है या फिर इंक्लूजन की आइडिया है वो बहुत ही स्ट्रांगली एसोसिएट की नो डाउट मेन स्ट्रीम सेक्रेटरी में मेंटल हेल्थ में भी हम देखते हैं कि द एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इंक्लूजन इज इक्वली इम्पॉर्टेंट लाइक we we know uh, people who uh, go through phases of depression or phases of uh, different kind of anxiety disorders and uh, moment they want to get into any sort of work 
or if if they were already been working and now getting back to work so those things are always so much challenging on a on a day to day life uh, especially as a as a mental health professional i feel that uh, uh, only treating the clinical symptoms or syndromes is not good enough we have to make sure ki jo individuals hain unki life agar change honi hai unki life mein agar impact karna hai to ye इंक्लूजन का जो एस्पेक्ट है वो बहुत ही स्ट्रॉन्ग हमको फॉलो करना चाहिए या फिर उसको परस्यू uh, करना चाहिए बिकॉज मोमेंट वी टॉक अबाउट मेंटल हेल्थ लोगों की बॉडी लैंग्वेज चेंज हो जाती है मोमेंट वी टॉक अबाउट पीपल विद स्पेशल एबिलिटीज उनकी बॉडी लैंग्वेज चेंज हो जाती है एंड एज आई टोल यू दैट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि वी एज अ मेंटल हेल्थ प्रोफेशनल एड्रेस दिस पर्टिकुलर एस्पेक्ट so uh, to to answer your question uh, i think it uh, all all throughout my journey whether it was my training days in kem uh, whatever time that i have spent with my dad in my clinic at andheri whatever time that i have spent in different institutes with uh, special children i i always felt that inclusion needs to be that one aspect which we all should take it very very seriously and that's where our efforts will see more fruits very truth and uh, we have this opportunity every day in every way to be inclusive mm. in our thoughts in our behavior with the people around us and isko practice karna bhi bahut zaruri hota hai with right. that in mind uh, tell us more about your association with this wonderful school any experiences yeah. that you remember challenges that you face aisa kuch hai jo aap hamare sath share kar sakte hain Now, of course, I think uh, it would be my real pleasure to talk about uh, Jayawakil Foundation, where I've been associated from the time of my KM days. I remember KM ki OPDs rounds sab khatam hone ke baad. Whenever I was off duty, uh, I would go there and see patients uh, and uh, run OPDs there. Spend a lot of time there. And as I've told you, ke it it started as a as a noble thought from one of the parent who. did not have any uh, medical or clinical skills and uh, it was sheer determination and conviction jiski wajah se ye institute shuru hua and uh, it, it it's just a it's just like a fairy tale story where after 78 years we are one of the leading uh, institute working in the field of uh, uh, special abilities uh, children with special needs and uh, we also undertake lot of research activities it's it's a it's a team which is fully functional uh, we have uh, which we have schools for children who are uh, uh, capable of undergoing some sort of education we have vocational training center wherein uh, children who are uh, capable of having some sort of uh, learning to different kind of vocations be it agarbat uh, agarbatti making or Uh, some cloth weaving or some uh, this beautiful flower which is there in front of you so we make such flowers uh, candle making so you can you can name uh, uh, an activity which is uh, possible and uh, which can be done by people with special needs we have everything under one roof of course there are certain uh, children who are uh, just good enough to take care of themselves or are struggling with activities of daily weaving so we have a the uh, program or a uh, particular uh, activity or particular uh, class which is related only to taking care of their day to day needs where they are uh, more focusing on uh, uh, just just going through their uh, activities of daily living like uh, whether it is eating food or going to toilet or different aspects and uh, and and i think it is really a proud moment for us that uh, our activities is not only limited to bombay campus we have two rural branches also which is uh, one in talegaon near pune the other one in devlali near uh, nashik yes. where yeah where where we have uh, children who come from different walks of life and uh, there again we have uh, a group of uh, 40 50 children who have been taken care by a team which is uh, similar to one we have in mumbai center uh, the only only difference that we do is uh, that there are a lot of uh, facilities being provided because we know ki ye jo bacche hain jo rural areas se aate hain unke paas 
बहुत सारे रिसोर्सेस नहीं होते हैं तो बी ट्रांसपोर्टेशन टू एंड फ्रो फ्रॉम द स्कूल ऑल्सो गिविंग देम स्किल्स विच आर एप्लीकेबल टू देर डे टू डे लाइफ लाइक दे आर कमिंग फ्रॉम अ फार्मर बैकग्राउंड और फार्मिंग बैकग्राउंड सो गिविंग देम दो काइंड ऑफ स्किल्स हाउ टू प्लांट Uh, how to uh, take care of the farms and everything so you have to modify yourself or adopt yourself depending on the kind of uh, environment that you are in so on and all i think it is it is something which is uh, really wonderful we we do have teams where we have speech therapists physiotherapists psychologist everything under one roof and also in terms of uh, future aspects we are also planning to start early intervention programs wherein right now we have children only after 6 who comes into our school as we have typical school admissions but then uh, we want to at least uh, do some sort of assessment give guidelines to this parents and uh, that is something which is uh, which is going to be happening in in uh, in in coming times but i think it's been a extremely enriching experience you've been part of one of the uh uh global yes. program the wpa program that we conducted so there are a lot of resources which comes to us and get trained in this particular area so i think uh, this is one aspect which is uh, very very uh, uh sure. which i am extremely proud to be associated with and that is why a lot of people are looking and watching in are saying amazing work dr jay keep it up janet jayraj anshula tanaveer janis thank you that motivation that appreciation really works uh, so we see vocational training being important we see a team approach being very important aur ye sab kehte hue i think you made uh, you included another chapter in your love uh, life as your wife being a psychiatrist as well ye kab aur kaisa include ho gaya aapke life mein Uh, we, uh, I, I think it was uh, purely love at first sight. We met in KEM during OPD days, and we just uh, we just connected. And she also has this wonderful uh, uh, connect with children. And in fact, she was yes. the one who was uh, specializing in uh, childrens with uh, cerebral palsy. So there was a center at uh, Haji Ali. Now there is a big uh, uh, hospital which has come up, SRCC. Uh, there was a center which was uh, earlier uh, with the similar name and she was associated with uh, that particular center and you we working in children for with cerebral palsy so i think it's it's something uh, which is very very uh, uh, heartening to have a partner like her who uh, walks your walk and talks your talk so it is something which is very very uh, wonderful and uh, our uh, 20 years of togetherness has always given us a lot of uh, uh, pleasure and happy moments especially when we are working with such children it is it, it's really a, a heartwarming experience beautiful and the future for mental health seems bright and beautiful tell us a little about uh, your plans ahead your future plans your bucket list jate jate kuch to jhalak de do right I thank you Fabian for asking me this question because you you will have you have to have a futuristic view you can't only be in the present and just uh, keep on doing what you are doing uh, it it will be stagnant at some point in time we have we have initiated those act, kind of activities in uh, Jai Vakil where we are partnering with lot of corporates uh, in fact bahut sare corporate uh, jo hai wo hamare uh, donors bhi hain since we are an ngo but then we have Uh, requested them to uh, take up lot of our children who are capable of working with them so uh, whether in in the capacity of uh, uh, say uh, some uh, an office boy or somebody who has a more higher skill who can operate computer to unko uh, employment dena so jo inclusion ki hum baat kar rahe hain i think that's one aspect we have already started incorporating people who have certain different skills like we talk about uh, agarbatti making weaving skills so we are also trying to uh, collaborate with uh, different industries where they can uh, uh, take up this this children so that it does not only remain at acquiring skills it's also utilizing them for somebody's own benefit and we want them to be not burden to their family but a a, a strong source of uh, motivation and support so typically Uh, children with uh, disabilities are looked upon as uh, a burden 
as uh, somebody who uh, has brought a lot of negativity and curse to the family. But the idea is to change that thought process, change that scenario completely and make them the star of the family rather than the scar of the family. So beautifully said, very yeah. rightly said, yes, the star rather than the scar. And this is, uh, I think, the message that you give to everyone watching in. And uh, together, as we are always stronger, we can make a more effective change in the society we live in. Thank you, Dr. Jai, for joining us and for Thank sharing you. all these sentiments with us. Uh, we will continue to uh, do things your way so that we are in an inclusive society. This is a slide that shows all the wonderful work that he does and the togetherness that he shares with family and friends. And this reflects uh, on the smile on his face and in the work that he does. Thank you, Dr. Shastri, once again for joining us. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Fabian, for having me. Yes. So moving ahead, uh, we understand the importance of inclusion. Hamlok har kisi ko hamare saath lete huye aage badte hai. Isi ka naam zindagi hai. Unka mansik stirta jaisa ho, unki kabiliyat kaisa ho, differently abled jaisa hamlok bolte hai, rather than disabled. Aur isi baat ko aur aage lene ke liye, we have our next guest and speaker with us. Let me welcome Neha Trivedi. Well, we are very honored to have you in our midst today. You were very well received by the principals when we had our session recently at Impact 22. And uh, we definitely wanted you back with us on this episode of Mandarpan. You have been working so many long years in the field of inclusion and uh, disability, especially for those 16 long years at Xavier's working for persons with disabilities. Uh, we'd like you to share what your experience was like with us. Thank you, Dr. Fabian, and thank you for having me. Uh, it's always my pleasure to spread ideas. One thing is that when we talk about inclusion, it needs to reach every individual, right? As long as the idea of inclusion reaches every mind, then only is an inclusive society possible. So, when I was college, I was working in the past 16 years, I started my new venture after September. But in those 16 years at Xavier's was a wonderful experience on, at multiple levels. So, when I joined Xavier's uh, way back in 2006, people didn't talk about inclusion. But Xavier's was leading the way. Xavier's was saying that why should we not have students with disabilities? Since Xavier's College Mumbai, as you all know, India is one of the most premier education institute. Hai. Or the interesting thing at Xavier's, even before I joined, was since Xavier's College always had students with disabilities, even when people didn't talk about inclusion. Uh, what changed when people like me joined is we, they had one of the professors on campus called Dr. Sam Tarapurwala who started the center called XRCVC. And they started that when the assistive technologies in India came the first time in India. So, like a computer that says, which can be blind people, and there are other technologies that can work independently people with disabilities. So, when these technologies came to India, the college didn't think that these are our students, why don't we have a club for our students? So it was a futuristic mindset, right? Like as Dr. Jai said, they, they didn't wait for somebody to ask. They themselves thought that why should we not be in our college? In which our students in our college come, they can learn with everyone. That's how the department I worked with started. And one thing that I learned being at Xavier's for all those years is the Jesuit mindset, right? Ki the spirit of giving back to the community. So when college started, then it started for in-house students. Ke liye shuru kiya tha. But we didn't limit ourselves then. I remember our principal back then, Father Fraser, told one thing to my boss then, who was Dr. Sam Tarapurwala, that whatever you do, please make it available to everybody. So St. Xavier's College, even though we didn't know much about school education that time, uh, our center started, our technology started coming in, and we kept our was open to everybody ki agar aap person with disability hai aapko kuch bhi zarurat hai ya fir you are a school who's struggling with inclusive education please come and learn and share and grow together so that's one thing that was really reassuring right and the other biggest thing that i learned at Xavier's was don't let 
worries bog you down so i remember my first day at work uh, i actually joined the college because we wanted to change the copyright law of the country uh, that time there were a lot of assistive technologies but uh, if you convert a book into an accessible format to copyright holder ki permission leni padti thi ki agar koi blind aadmi hai ya koi somebody with cerebral palsy who cannot hold a book unko agar e copy mein book banana hai to you have to seek permission and the copyright holder could tell you no so what we were doing in college that time was technically illegal so we said are aisa kaise ho sakta hai why should we do something illegal and when we asked publishers that time that we have centers for students with disabilities we want soft copy they said no please change the copyright law so we we actually sat down and said ki isko change karna chahiye and sometimes you know when they say when you are naive you can achieve much more so we didn't know what changing legal systems in this country involved but on my first day at the job we actually sat down because the copyright law was up for amendment with a deadline and we thought it was very serious ki nahi government ne agar bola hai ki x tarikh tak aapka representation jana chahiye to wo din tak jana hi chahiye so we actually sat and created a representation it took us 6 years to change that law but it got changed and you know we then started working on changing a lot of other laws so we changed the rbi guidelines for people with disabilities uh, we changed education to hamare one question i and whoever is listening i'd like to tell them ki agar if you know any person with disability or there is somebody in your family with disability please don't ask a question ki aapke ye disability ke sath aap kya kar sakte hain please ask the question what am i good at what is my intellect what is my aptitude and please follow your passion so as a college na hamare paas hamesha students aate the ki main blind hu main kya kar sakta hu main hearing impaired hu main kya kar sakta hu and our standard answer was forget that you have a disability tell me who you are as a person tell me what your skill sets are and what you are interested in we can then build inclusion right so that is something that was really fascinating as well <laughs> great very encouraging very motivating very inspiring and luminaries like father fraser dr sam yeah. tarupurwala i think they are the ones who show us the way yes. uh, change has really been the constant and you have done so much in this field of change for the better for people with different abilities can you tell us more about this change that you brought about in so many things yeah so i think just carrying forward from what we were discussing right ki jab hamare paas hamara change ka system hi aise shuru hua we didn't think that we were set out to change the world uh, i still tell people you know jab log mere ko pooch bolte hain ki are aap itna nek kaam karte hain part of inclusion is to re- stop recognizing inclusion as nek kaam it is it is all our work right uh, we tend to either glorify people with disabilities or we tend to sympathize with them and inclusion is about doing neither it is just about the fact that agar st xavier's college ek educational institute hai to wahan koi bhi student aake padhai kar sakta hai to wo institute ki zimmedari hai ki unka education sabhi ke liye ek samaveshi shiksha jo hum bolte hain wo zimmedari hai wo hum na to kisi ko help kar rahe hain na to kisi ke liye kuch extra kar rahe hain as that's just our work uh, so you know when when we the, the process of change started when students came to us and said i like to do science uh, but currently there is a law in this country which says a blind person cannot do science so we just asked ourselves that question kiyare but this guy has all the aptitude why should he not do science just because he's blind so then we said okay let's talk to cbsc let's talk to hsc board uh, you know and a lot of times i have seen change is stopped not because people don't want to be want to be bad kisi ko ha pura duniya na life mein one thing is very simple people are good hearted they have good intention people just don't know so jab aap authorities ke paas bhi jate hain to 10 mein se 8 log sirf isliye kuch nahi badal rahe hain kyunki unko pata hi nahi hai ki iski zarurat hai so most of our change happened quite naturally when we took our experiences to people in authority and we said ki do you even know that there are people with disabilities who want to do this sometimes laws are just very old aur unko pata nahi hai so that's how we changed the cbse rules for science education for the blind uh, we changed the rbi guidelines for banking access for people with disabilities aaj aaj agar aap dekhenge to atm machines mein braille labels hote hain aur talking features hota hai to wo sara research karke wo badlav laaye so 
ऑल ऑफ दोज ऑल आर वर्क वॉज डिमांड बेस्ड अगर हमारे पास कोई पर्सन विद डिसबिलिटी ने आके बोला कि मुझे ये करना है और ये नहीं हो रहा है देन वी वाला ओके देन दिस शुड हैपन बिकॉज वाई शुड इट नॉट हैपन सो the so those are the kind of changes that you, you uh, seem to have the midas touch you change <laughs> no, no. that need to change and more power to people like you well no the biggest also- change that sorry the biggest yes. change that we seek is the mindset change which is the most difficult change to very occur so so waha i think everybody needs to put a midas touch on themselves and i hope ki ye jo bhi sun rahe hai usme se sab log at least internally reflect karke समावेशी शिक्षा के बारे में सोचने लगे बिल्कुल बिल्कुल यू वे आल्सो एसोसिएटेड विद द आई स्टेम प्रोजेक्ट व्हाट वाज दिस अबाउट सो आई स्टेम वाज अगेन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सो यू नो इन डिसेबिलिटी राइट्स वी बिलीव नथिंग फॉर अस विदाउट अस हम एज पीपल विद डिसेबिलिटीज यू आई कांट इमेजिन व्हाट अ लाइफ वुड बी आई कांट ऑलवेज अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम यस आई कैन एम्पथाइज बट व्हाई शुड पीपल विद डिसेबिलिटीज नॉट पार्टिसिपेट इन चेंज uh it's only when people with disabilities participate in the change they want in their life we are only support mechanisms right uh, so i stem ek initiative tha ki ek phase tha india mein about 10 odd years ago ki jahan people with blindness specifically unko stem matlab science technology engineering medicine ki padhai karni thi aur hamare paas na to rules the na to systems thi na to koi bhi college engineering ka tha jo students with blindness ko le raha tha सो दैट टाइम एक्स आर सी बी सी ने एक सपोर्ट ग्रुप चालू किया था कि जो भी स्टूडेंट विद ब्लाइंडनेस को स्टेम एजुकेशन में इंटरेस्ट है वो हम लोग एक दूसरे से बात करके एक दूसरे का सपोर्ट मेकेनिज्म बन के रिसोर्सेज शेयर करेंगे तो वो सपोर्ट ग्रुप जब थोड़ा मच्योर हुआ दैट इज वेन इट बिकेम दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल आई स्टेम एंड आई वॉज वन ऑफ द फाउंडिंग मेम्बर्स दैट टाइम एंड दोज यंग स्टूडेंट्स said that you know what we have done and what we have struggled we don't want others to struggle so we want to set up an organization that spreads awareness that creates resources so i well, i mentored them and i worked with them for the initial 2 3 years and now i'm happy to say that i stem today is a for profit company that is creating technology these are people with blindness who themselves are creating technology to make higher education accessible for people with disabilities and that's great right because that shows that life moves true, on <laughs> true true definitely yeah. and finally came spandan your own brain child ye kaisa yeah. hua how did this evolve yeah so thanks for asking that i mean i you know been in this one place for a long time uh didn't want to get fossilized there essentially <laughs> it was great to be there uh but you know एक चीज हुआ था 16 साल में सेंट जेवियर्स कॉलेज में रहके कि कॉलेज ने जो भी नेसेसरी सिस्टम्स था आई वाज पार्ट ऑफ सेटिंग अप यू नो आई वुड आस्क एनीबॉडी हु इज लिसनिंग कि अगर आप हायर एजुकेशन के बारे में सोच रहे हैं और यू नो पीपल विद डिसेबिलिटीज एंड यू आर इन बॉम्बे प्लीज कंसीडर जेवियर्स दे हैव द बेस्ट इंक्लूजन फैसिलिटीज एंड यू यू नो यू विल फ्लरिश देयर स्पंदन का ऐसे हुआ कि आई फील दैट देयर आर अ लॉट मोर एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूट्स देयर आर मोर कॉर्पोरेट्स who want to do this but who don't know and it was at this, this this phase in my journey as a professional where i feel that i can take these ideas to more places and that's how spandan is developed um uh, spandan is inclusion and accessibility consultancy service hai jahan koi bhi sanstha ya organization inclusion ke bare mein sochna chahti hai ya koi naya project karna chahti hai to usko hum support karenge expertise ke sath suggestions ke sath consultancies ke sath and the idea with spandan is the core area of work is higher education or employment ko kaise jodna ki aaj agar hum uh, rights of persons with disabilities mein 5% reservation hai higher education institutes mein to jaise hamare students zyada colleges mein aayenge to hamare campus placement processes kaise inclusive ho ki unka bhi uh, jo career progression hai, है वो सबके साथ बढ़े ना कि उनको कहा स्पेशली जॉब्स लेने जाना पड़े या तो उनको वोकेशनल ट्रेनिंग में सिर्फ ब्रैकेट नहीं किया जाए तो हाउ डू यू मेक श्योर कि एजुकेशन एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट एज सेक्टर्स गेट कनेक्टेड टू मेक इंक्लूजन सस्टेनेबल सो दैट्स द होप विद स्पंदन तो जो भी हायर एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूट है या कॉपरेट है वील होप टू वर्क विदेड with disabilities that is what spandan is definitely going to do and ye sab um, in challenges ke sath kaam karte karte 
द डिफिकल्टीज दैट यू सी इन फेस कभी ना कभी आपका भी तो स्ट्रेस बढ़ता ही जाएगा आप क्या करते हैं इस स्ट्रेस का मुकाबला करने के लिए हाउ डू यू डू योर शेयर ऑफ स्ट्रेस बस्टिंग yeah i think initially yours were very frustrating especially when you see mindset blocks right um laughing it out is the best option i think uh, you know forgive forget is great uh, and i think for me the biggest thing is i need my half an hour in the morning in silence agar wo time mere ko koi bhi disturb kiya to matlab <laughs> the the rest of the day is uh, nearly impossible to get through but i think that morning boost of energy from the universe really helps you sort of keep the rest of the day in calm because ultimately regardless of how your day is the next morning will be as calm as the previous one so if so you stay with that peace then it's all good self care is important aap absolutely so, absolutely wo aadha ghanta nikalte hain and i think that is a, an example for us also to take our mental health and stress in the right direction well uh, inclusion makes so much sense and that is what uh, marufa amish leslie rense our people watching in are complimenting the good work and wishing you all the best with your project spandan for the way ahead thank you for being our guest thank, thank you, you for giving us the light there is a slide here that shows all the activity and the advocacy that she is involved with and uh, all you uh, corporate people schools colleges institutions जहां पे भी आपको लगता है कि इंक्लूजन और एक्सेसिबिलिटी के बारे में आपको और नॉलेज uh, चाहिए प्रैक्टिकल uh, पॉइंट्स चाहिए तो जरूर गेट इन टच विद हर यू कैन गेट इन टच विद वेल स्प्रिंग्स एंड वी विल डेफिनेटली पुट यू टू द राइट पर्सन नेहा त्रिवेदी थैंक यू वंस अगेन फॉर जॉइनिंग अस एंड शेयरिंग योर एक्सपर्टीज ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू और अब अब मिलते हैं ट्विंकल गोगरी a bubbly student a person with a lot of energy and enthusiasm and the smile that radiates comes from success but has been shining through no matter what well twinkle you are a student you are doing so much but with all of this you have also gone through your journey with muscular dystrophy we'd like you to share something about that yeah um so first of all thank you for having me here i i was listening to all these such great speakers and i was literally fangirling because they're doing such great work um and around inclusivity and i it affects me so i'm very passionate about it so great. thank you so much and um you know uh, higher education uh when i gave, uh, passed my 12th i was going to do my graduation through correspondence that was my plan i thought you know i did it in my 10th i did it in my 12th uh, it might not be very practical to you know actually go and physically attend classes and um, you know and all of that because of my scoliosis and i can't sit for long but surprisingly it was my mother who pushed me and said you know what let's why don't we just try it you know just try it once and if you don't feel comfortable then we can do it via correspondence we always have mumbai university we are just taking admission there and you know we'll do it i was like okay why not and um, so the problem is not a lot of um colleges are very welcoming of students with disability so when i got my marks results I had two options, which were close to my home. So I live in Andheri. My options were kind of limited. So I got into Mithibai, and I, you know, and I researched a little more. And there was another college called MNWC. So I got into Mithibai. I was very happy because I got into Mithibai, and Mithibai's program for psychology is kind of, you know, well known. And but. Um, we went and talked to the um principal kind of um ki you know i might not be able to attend much that is my main thing i can't sit for long my health is always going up and down i might not be able to attend 75% and they said that that is compulsory Oops. yeah so then i changed my mind i went into mnwc because they were very nice 
they were very welcoming and i am actually glad that i listened to my mom and went to college because i'm having a lot of fun there due to my scoliosis i can't attend all the lectures and every day you know in the beginning i was very excited i went the whole week i attended every lecture the first week and then the oh. next week i was so sick that i couldn't attend even one lecture <laughs> so since then i'm a little more cautious about attending only the important lectures um i think it's been a wonderful experience um despite my scoliosis and you know everything i've been able to attend college college it was actually i would not have believed it you know a few years back if somebody would have said you know what you're going to be doing this you're going to be graduating in psychology and you're going to physically go to a college so which is why i think i try to take each and every experience that comes my way i have taken parts in all the fests that i could um i also take part in every competition that i can and that is how my college fests went i took part in uh, three competitions uh i won in them so i'm kind of proud of that i also represented my college in uh, intercollegiate fests so so a lot yeah that's been my yes a lot has happened the pain and the problem with your scoliosis yeah. with the limitations that you cannot sit too long aapko dard hota hai takleef hota hai zyada der aap lectures ke liye baith nahi sakte hai iske bawajood in spite of these pain and problems i think it's the spirit and the strength and the support that you got like you rightly said when the people around you support you and give you that inspiration and enthusiasm you can take that leap of faith and when you are welcomed by the right people at the right time it definitely goes ahead isn't it when that going yeah. gets tough the tough gets going but kahi to in between uh, i remember when you were getting ready for your 12th and in that journey in between those thoughts sometimes overtook you kabhi wo negative overthinking aa jata hai aur ek halka sa depression ka bhi ehsaas hota hai what happened and how did you help yourself so basically what happened was sometimes you know that imposter syndrome that you know whatever has been happened till now has been just a fluke and you know when the actual time comes you will not be that good or you will not clear your exams or you know a lot of things so i kind of da- started doubting myself and kind of you know i started again going into those lows you know my bad days started becoming more frequent and i think the important thing here was recognizing the pattern that you know i'm going back again that you know my progress has been falling back and so i think that is what happened uh, and also maybe because it was uh, i was studying by myself so lack of routine and you know it everything because it's the whole portion by yourself it gets very overwhelming you know so i think i confuse that overwhelming uh this thing into i am not capable that was my immediate thought that negative thought pattern right instead of just saying okay this is difficult i was i can't do it i am not capable of doing it so that but luckily and along with your help dr fabian i'm very grateful to you um i was able to you know come yes. slowly back and recognize that okay i am maybe hyper fixating on like the problems and maybe the things are not as bad as they seem right so you saw problems happening you saw yourself growing a little weak and without shame and without stigma you took help which is the message that goes out to everybody agar kuch aisa hota hai जब आप अपने आप को कमजोर महसूस करते हैं तो बिना कोई शर्म का देर इज नो हार्म इन टेकिंग हेल्प एंड सपोर्ट एंड ब्रिंगिंग बैक दैट स्ट्रॉन्ग साइड ऑफ यू बाउंसिंग बैक वेल यू ऑल्सो लाइक एनिमल्स अलॉट एंड वी सी यू वर्क अलॉट एंड हैव अलॉट ऑफ पिक्चर्स विद विद एनिमल्स वॉट इज इट विद यू एंड एनिमल्स टेल अस मोर आई लव डॉग्स एंड कैट्स एक्चुअली ऑल एनिमल्स बट आई एम काइंड ऑफ कैट ऑफ काउस they're very big and they're very volatile <laughs> i don't trust them 
but um so you know when the pandemic happened i i've always loved animals but when the pandemic happened i i, uh, I noticed this one new dog that came into our you know colony because i guess there were lack of feeders and the dogs started migrating from here and there and there was this new dog in our colony that was very timid and you know very sweet but scared and you know we started approaching that dog and her we named her sushi now <laughs> <laughs> and so she made me fall in love with dogs in a, like a crazy manner now whenever i go through you know go anywhere and i go dog dog <laughs> so i love them also i have noticed that you know the, the, they love unconditionally they have no they don't have any prejudices you know so they they're very pure and they once they love you they love you unconditionally they don't want food or anything once they love you they come running up to you and you have to give them love lots of lessons to learn from the animals around us also and we must pledge to take care of them true uh, you've already made a buzz in college you won a lot of prizes tell us briefly about the recent most events that you had okay so i went to pune for the intercollegiate fest it was a yuva mahotsav under sndt this thing um it was a very great uh, experience um this was my first intercollege this thing in fact this is my first college experience because i gave my 12th by a correspondence so it was quite amazing i think i got very confident about my own ability to handle new situations you know because it was a whole new environment i had to you know recite my poetry my own poetry in front wow. of a huge audience um also you know navigating those different situations uh, so the campus was not wheelchair accessible so that was a big uh, this thing but we navigated through all of that and i am quite happy in how i dealt with it mentally so i love that it was a very nice experience for me and um, apart from that there have been you know some more writing uh, competitions that i have you know taken part in and um, we yeah, can that's... have a bright flash and uh, the wonderful prizes that you won the great company that you've been in the stray dogs that you love amazing paintings twinkle is so good at her paintings and i'm very proud and privileged to have a couple of them with me she's good at making chocolates what are you not good at is a question i have to ask sometimes twinkle yes you really have been shining as your name suggests and there you are with your friends winning your prizes and making the most of life that's the inspiration we get from you yes twinkle jate jate a small message for everyone um so because this is uh the topic is inclusion i would just like to say to everybody who is also a person with disability even if you think you don't have a problem right now you should always be in contact with a psychologist or get some help because life is difficult you will face problems and it's a very slippery slope today it's a bad day can turn into a bad week and that can seem like a bad life but it's not life is beautiful in every That's form such a wonderful message life is beautiful love you zindagi yes that is <laughs> seems to be the crux of the message that you are giving and that is why much love and appreciation coming from nushaz archana Parveen Seidel Dr Manali they say you're a star and we are so proud of you Twinkle we wish you all success ahead and Thank drawing you. from Twinkle's story the message that we take home today my dear friends is this message of inclusion let's have that slide flash that talks about inclusion in every sphere of life it actually means putting the us into inclusion you're not a part but you are a part of the whole wide world around us or let us be more accepting of people let us together walk this path 
and make life beautiful for each and every one of us. That is the message we have to live by every day. And our great speakers today, Dr. Jay and uh, Neha and Twinkle, they have all brought this message to the fore. With that in mind, we also make a very specific appeal here. As this slide shows, Siddesh Patil was one of our guests a uh, few episodes back. Siddesh has been born blind, but he is also talented and sings. He plays the piano at the Lalith Hotel and many other places, ceremonies, birthdays and weddings. And together with other people who are blind, they have a band called Sur Drushti. And we are very proud of them. There is also a request. They need funds. Unko sponsorship ki zarurat hai. Aage badne ke liye. Ye do saal COVID ka thoda sa mushkil raha hai unke liye. They are immensely talented people. And they seek funds to take their way forward. So this is an appeal to all those watching to spread the word around. And if you can help in any small way possible, every drop in the ocean counts. Please think of Sur Drushti. You can get in touch with us and we will put you through and you can make a donation to help them. Well, we also give you brief reminders of our various programs that we have lined up. We have Mandarpan happening every fourth Saturday of the month and it is at six o'clock. Remember to tune in to either YouTube or Facebook on 1MD. 24th of December next month will be our next episode of this season two. Well, we also have next our OUCH, our support group for overthinkers. And OUCH stands for Overthinkers Unlimited Chill Out Help Zone. Every second Saturday at 12, we meet and we help each other to go through this difficult period of overthinking and challenges that come to us. We share and we care. So you can be part of OUCH. Reach us out to us on WhatsApp 908-209-3848. I repeat, WhatsApp on 908-209-3848. We also have Bato Bato Me. And don't forget to tune in today evening at 8 o'clock. Every second and fourth Saturday at 8 o'clock, we have our candid conversations on mental health to normalize mental health, to glamorize mental health. And today at 8, we are talking with Miss Tahira Lokanwala. She is the senior psychologist at Symbiosis Center for Emotional Wellbeing. And our topic today is mental health makeovers. We'll talk about campus problems. We'll talk about how we can help ourselves, relationships that can be difficult. All of this today at 8 o'clock. Join us on Wellsprings Counseling, our Instagram handle, Wellsprings Counseling. Well, we also have Mentastic that happens every month, helping children to make their mind fantastic, our online program for school children. And this Sunday, 27th, we have at 6 p.m. a session called Benchmarking. How can we help ourselves move forward slowly, steadily, but in the right direction? So join us for our session uh, on Sunday, that's tomorrow, at 6 o'clock, Benchmarking. Well then, all together, Wellsprings wishes each one of y'all, we have the last slide coming in that tells us, I can, I will, I must. The theme from Wellsprings, trying to spread the message of good health for the mind and for the body. Wellsprings is just a message away with your WhatsApp, 908-209-3848. And keep us on your Facebook and your Instagram handle, Wellsprings Counseling is the number to be. Well, once again, a big thank you to all our speakers, the people who made this interesting evening uh, really valuable and enriching, Dr. Jay Shastri, Neha Trivedi, and Twinkle Gogri, and the man behind the scenes, as always, Anirudh Sapatnekar. Asha hai aapko is sham ka puri tarah se luft uthane ka mauka mila hai. We want you to take the message of inclusion forward all around you. And like we have said, live it every day in every way. Thank you once again for joining us, everybody. Keep track with Mandarpan always. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.